Hey there Scorpios and welcome now to Thursday. Well today I think it's gonna be cloudy, very spaced out for the Scorpios. In fact, this will be probably the spaciest day in the week. And you know what I mean by spacey? You're just really having a hard time coming down into your body. That's because the sun this month is really focused in the opposite direction, your higher self. When the sun does a 12th consciousness uh, tour, you're really kind of focusing more on your past life, your higher self, your subconscious. People report that they have really intense dreams during this time. You really should take note of those dreams. That's often memories bubbling up or themes bubbling up. And that's really what the whole point of this transit is, is to kind of clean out your gutters, get clear on yourself, reconnect to your higher power, and realize that you are invincible. Right, Scorpio? That's always the final conclusion for you. But what's also going on simultaneously is this rah-rah this on the inside and transformation on the outside from the perspective of society. Saturn and Virgo now is saying to Scorpios, it's really time to change your entire approach to mankind or humankind or society or a certain group of friends or even change your group of friends. The way you are seen in the world, what your business card reads, and also the reputation you want to have in the world is all governed by this kind of this portion of consciousness. And with Saturn there, at just now five degrees, it's really time to start thinking about seriously what you're going to change. Now, what's interesting and what I'm pointing out in all the 12 signs is that Saturn that's pushing you for the next two years to reinvent yourself in society is directly opposite for a while, Uranus in the fifth house. Now that opposition causes one or two kind of relationships. Either they're both pulling for balance and you're trying to maybe find balance between the two. But before that happens, usually I see a tug of war or a cause effect, cause effect kind of relationship with it. Now the Uranus is in the house of self-expression, the house of creativity, love, romance, the house of Leo, how we shine as a soul. So the way I see this is basically the universe is trying to bring you into a harmony where your group of friends and the reputation you have is in synergy with your soul's truest self. And if there's any conflict, that's the goal of what the universe is pointing to anyways. All right, that's all we have for Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So